We just got what I think is probably the single most bizarre Bethesda Game Studios leak we have ever had. This specifically being around Starfield, including one of the biggest and most hotly debated features that was potentially coming to Starfield. And this was functionally confirmed by Jason Schreier, aka literally the gold standard of leaks for Bethesda games, which I wasn't even going to make a video on this until he basically confirmed it. So this situation is both hilarious and incredibly bizarre. Basically what happened was, on this forum called Reset Era, there's an ongoing post about Microsoft overall, so it's discussion about all Microsoft topics, and naturally Bethesda now falls into that. Recently, the YouTuber Skolzy posted about how he heard from an anonymous source a couple of things. Details about all kinds of different things that are currently a work in progress at Bethesda. I'm not going to break all this info down directly because, as we'll go over later in this video, it is at least partially debunked. Another YouTuber quote retweeted that and basically said how a lot of the info in that original post aligns with things he's heard, as well as he had the remaster part of that post confirmed just recently. So naturally, now with multiple people supposedly hearing things from certain sources, the conversation moves over to Reset Era, where we get to a very interesting commentary. A user going by the name of Heavy008, who is a verified character artist. And on this forum, you basically can send things to the mods and admins to verify your place of employment and that you are actually working in the games industry. But he responds to this claimed list, basically saying he just finished his last week at Bethesda Game Studios last Friday, and how most of the things being posted in this list is complete nonsense. BGS Dallas was working on Spy Team before getting put on Starfield. It was a pet project of Todd's and it was just being prototyped. So naturally, when you have a forum thread dedicated to Microsoft and a lot of discussion on Bethesda, and somebody comes in and has this verify tag and says they just stopped working at Bethesda, they got bombarded with questions, and shockingly, they answered a bunch of those questions. They describe how Bethesda was a cool, solid place to work, very secure. The engine is a piece of crap, though. Todd is a charismatic guy for sure. Starfield is looking good with weekly Thursday playtests since the beginning of the year. More and more stuff is coming. Coming online. Shooting feels alright, flying is terrible at the moment, and at least according to this guy, it's just not that fun to him. Lighting and stuff is looking better and better, though it's not on the level of HFW, I assume he means Horizon Forbidden West, or anything like that, but still a good looking game. In terms of if it will ship on time, well, they will try, that's for sure, and how they'll cut what they have to, and there's an overabundance of content right now. Probably too much, so that's not the issue. Finding the fun, and of course, bug fixing is the big thing. It's a sexy date though, and you only get one one of those, beta is this summer, that's when the picture will truly become clear. So seemingly, this person who just stopped working at Bethesda just gave us a bunch of details about Starfield. And he continues, how the engine isn't great and he doesn't like the feel of flying, but that's just a person's opinion, his personal view, not necessarily an objective truth on the quality of flying in Starfield. And he later clarifies when he said the engine was crap, he doesn't mean like they can't do things or it's limiting them, but rather it's just not super user friendly. It's a very powerful engine, but seemingly he was having difficulty getting into it. And this is where this all takes a pretty hilarious turn, as we have one of the admins or general manager, as he's known on this website, come in and say, they actually did verify that this poster did work for Bethesda for a long time, and he provided proof to them. And later on, Jason Schreier himself comes in and he says he can confirm that Heavy008 was legit. Can't necessarily back up everything they said, but they were definitely who they said they were. Hope the lawyers aren't going after them. Further, how he texted that Skullsy list of bullet points to a source who said it was BS. So that's why I said you should probably write off these two tweets from earlier on. It seems like this info isn't necessarily accurate. But the part where this gets very hilarious, and unfortunately you can't read all these posts anymore, but I've been following this all day. And this user Heavy008 was saying he worked at Bethesda, but naturally not many people believed him. And he kept getting in arguments with other people because they were like, well, if you just quit Bethesda, doesn't that mean this is under NDA and you leaking the fact that there's going to be a beta this summer? ship flying is, well, one a thing, manual ship flight is a thing in Starfield. Those are all things that would surely be covered by an NDA, but he was adamant that he didn't reveal any new details and all of this was incredibly obvious anyway. I even DM'd with him earlier today and he said he didn't share any new details. Well, I guess he had a change of heart because later on in the day, he did just completely get his account deleted, requesting it to be deleted himself. And supposedly this was shortly after somebody said they were sending Bethesda these messages. So all in all, it seems to be that there was a genuine Bethesda employee who recently left the company who thought that he could just tell people the game is featuring manual spaceflight as well as a few other minor details and it was no big deal. He didn't realize that would not be okay. And in fact, this is actually the same person who was arguing with 
people on the same forum last year when there was a debate over when the game would release, in 2021 or 2022. Back then, he was saying 2022, as you could probably guess. So an absolutely bizarre situation, but the big reveal here seems to be that, yes, manual spaceflight is coming in Starfield. Based on these posts, it sounds like you're going to have the ability to go into space and manually control a spaceship. Because we've now heard from numerous sources that this was an actual Bethesda employee. And I feel like the Jason Schreier verification in particular is the big one. Now, manual spaceflight being in Starfield is something that was definitely alluded to. And it seems like, to me at least, this is just full-on confirmation. I fully believe it's coming now. I mean, in the trailer, the whole process of that trailer is actually launching a ship and taking off. That's a big clue as to what you're going to be doing in the game. There's been a lot of discussion and talks about flying amongst the stars like we had in the Into the Starfield video from yesterday. And it's honestly kind of hard to see how this will all fit in and work together. Vehicles are never something that's done well in Bethesda games. Horses work fine in Skyrim, but most of the other times people have attempted vehicles, it's kind of wonky. Honestly, the only thing that got close to something quality was the Frontier Project. So it'll be interesting to see how Bethesda implements this. And one of the big things I've always felt when it came to manual spaceflight is, I don't really necessarily need this. Like when I get excited about Starfield, an, an ambitious space RPG from Bethesda Game Studios, manually controlling spaceships was never high up on my list of things I hope to be able to do in this game. I wanna experience the stories, experience different planets, the different environments they create for us. And if there was a system similar to the Outer Worlds where you don't manually control the spaceship, but kind of go from point A to point B, I was pretty okay with that. So now I'm gonna be pretty curious to see how manually controlling a spaceship feels. Obviously this dev didn't actually think it felt that good, but we are still a ways away from release, and I imagine this will be one of the big reveals coming this summer. Although one of the ways I could actually see spaceflight making sense or fitting in pretty well with Starfield is with exploration being such a cornerstone. We've seen a boatload of concept art of this game. One of the things that stand out there is that there's just a wide array of different environments to experience. So perhaps a lot of this game is actually spent in our ship going from point A to point B experiencing completely new and unique things. Actually stumbling upon a world that just not many people have that we truly don't know what we're going to find there. Different cultures, different creatures, different environments. I could see how spaceflight could be a cornerstone feature of that and kind of mimic what you have in No Man's Sky to a degree. Not necessarily being a full-on flight sim, but still creating some very interesting and unique experiences where you do have this feeling of isolation and discovery. In addition, a couple of the other things he obviously confirmed that Spy Team is actually a Bethesda Game Studios project. Definitely seems like that unannounced game I've been talking about is actually Spy Team. I didn't think it was Spy Team. I actually predicted that it wasn't Spy Team, but it seems like that's something, which is very curious. It's hard to imagine what Spy Team even is. It almost sounds like a Team Fortress 2 knockoff or something. Based on his post, it seems like this was something that was in production, but is perhaps no longer in production. So maybe they moved on and we won't find out ever or not for a while. And when it comes to the comments of beta this summer, I have a feeling they just mean the game will reach a beta version, not like there'll be an open beta for us to experience. Obviously, Fallout 76 had an open beta, but with a single player game, that feels a bit weirder. I can't imagine Bethesda gives everyone that open beta experience. Experience. But who knows, maybe they will. Either way, that is a pretty big reveal, I think. Manual spaceflight in a Bethesda game. Either way, this was easily one of the most bizarre leak situations I've ever seen. You basically just had an employee who jumped on a forum and started arguing with people, but kind of leaked a bunch of details in the process, not realizing that NDAs could apply to them, or apparently he didn't have an NDA. Either way, it definitely seems like some people at Bethesda might be pretty upset right now. In one of the posts, he actually described how he still has gameplay and he was willing to share that with the mods for verification that he was legit. With that said though, hopefully you guys found this one informative or just entertaining because it is again pretty hilarious. As always again, I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope to see you all next time. Later.